Why hello there boys. As most of you know, I'm always showing you what to look out for in these free to play streets. But today, we are going to be giving back to the free to play community. And test whether these free to play noobs are genuine people. Or opportunists. Will they scam? Or will they help me? Hey there. Stop. Hi. Look at this buddy, got something neat to show your bra. Alright boys we're about to give this young pencil head the opportunity of a lifetime. If he chooses not to scam us, we are going to reward him tenfold. We're going to go ahead and trade him as many rune meds that he can hold, but then I'm going to say that it was an accident, and see if he is nice enough to give me my helmets back. Oh crap man, I didn't mean to press accept. I was just trying to show you all the helmets I had. Can you please give them back sir? Can you give those back? Didn't mean to accept. And not to my surprise, instead of being a good Samaritan, and returning my helmets in which I accidentally traded to this young man. He decided he was going to scam me. And not return any of my helmets. Ha 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 wow. What a stone cold piece of crap. You see boys? These free to play noobs aren't so innocent now are they? But that's alright boys that's alright. Even though these goblins aren't thankful, it still feels good giving to the poor. Hello. Look at this. Trade little Johnny, trade. All right boys. We're about to serve this goblin with the business. It appears little Johnny has 20 free open inventory slots, so we're going to go ahead and give him 20 rune med helmets, and then hit him with the business. Oh crap little Johnny. Wait a second. I didn't mean to press accept on the trade bud. Can you give those back? Look at how pissed this ungrateful chat gets as soon as I tell him I traded him the helmets by mistake. He instantly goes from being an innocent noob, to a hostile thug. Come on Dexter dog. Do you not know how to read? I said I gave you those helmets by mistake. And now I am asking you to return them. But look boys. This clown has on leather boots? And leather gloves? Seriously bud? You look ridiculous. What did you mean to do? I just wanted to show you them little Johnny. I just wanted to inspire you to keep on, keeping on. Can I have back please? No. Like I said boys if this young man chooses to do the right thing he is going to be rewarded with riches. Come on Dex, this is your chance to finally become a good person. Lol you scammed yourself. Wow boys. Just wow. You see what happens when you try to do something nice for these free to play players? They pose as sheep. But they are wolves in sheep's clothing. Wolves that are willing to stab you straight in your back and run off with your gold if given the opportunity. But how can we blame them boys? If you want to survive on this game, you have to be an opportunist. This game is evil boys this game is evil. You cannot trust a soul on this game boys. I hope it was worth it Dex, I really hope it was. Because I was about to bless you with riches. But honestly, I'm glad you are poor. Ha 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 wow. Gingivitis Johnny boys are on their way to becoming fine, fine runescape players. Which means complete disappointments in real life. Just like this little goblin right here, 
who actually is trying to pretend that he is a ghost and a woman. Look buddy, you can't be both a man, a woman, and a ghost at the same time all right? It's not physically possible. If it was, I would have done it years ago. But instead, I'm just a robot. A robot who brought out the almighty ancient god sword. Which we all know is a downright killing machine. When the time is right, we are going to obliterate this ghost goblin with our special attack. And that's just a solid fact. Just look at this leather chap weasel trying to PK with a dragon dagger. What do you think this is bud? Oh seven? Jeez Louise bud. You look ridiculous. Just when Gingivitis was feeling confident, I unleashed my special attack. And before little Johnny could floss his teeth, he was on his way back to Pencil Bread Lumbridge. And we were off to cash in his loot key at the Ferox Enclave. Let's go ahead and take a look at this loot boys. Three hundred and one K? Not too bad boys not a bad. That's what you get for pretending to be both a man, woman, and a ghost at the exact same time. Ha 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 wow. As I was in the middle of completing the Dragon Slayer quest for the first time, I happened to run into a young little Johnny who appeared to be killing skeletons with wind strike, while wearing a full suit, of Addy G. What you doing out here bud? It appeared that little Billy here is trying to complete the Dragon Slayer quest as well. Here buddy, I only have a couple of angler fish, but hopefully, this will be enough for you to clap the dragon. Trying to kill the dragon but it's hard. Good luck little Johnny good luck. I'll go ahead of you and get Elvarg's health low so you can clap him easier. Man I'm not going to lie boys. It feels good helping someone who is actually a noob to the game. This interaction is without a doubt an extremely rare one. But I'm not going to lie boys. This guy doesn't look like he's going to survive. Take off the Addy G Johnny, take off that Addy G. It lowers your magic attack bonus. I went ahead and got Elvarg's health as low as I could without clapping him. Now little Johnny just has to hit him a couple of times and the quest will be completed. Come on little Johnny you got this bra. Johnny come on bra remove that damn armor bud what the heck are you thinking? Little Johnny was trying as hard as he could to stay alive. But he was acting like an idiot. Take off that freaking armor bud you are about to get smoked. Even though Johnny finally took off his armor, he started getting smoked by Elvarg. And it was obvious that he did not have an anti-fire potion. Come on out Johnny, you need a sip of this anti-fire pot. Come on out buddy I'll hook you up. Long John Silver Johnny boy barely managed to escape with his life, but just when he thought it was safe, he started getting clapped by the skeletons. Come on Johnny boy you need to trade me without dying you freaking idiot. Go hide somewhere safe brother go hide somewhere safe. Little Johnny literally had one hit point left to his name. But miraculously he somehow managed to survive. This time I will be giving him not only an anti-fire potion, but the rest of my food and pots as well. Yeah. I even had to explain to him how to properly drink a Saradomin potion and then follow it up with a Super Restore potion. You need to take three sips of the Saradomin brew, and then one sip of the Super Restore afterwards. You got that Johnny? Do you understand? Good. Now get out there and show this dragon that you aren't just a bald dumbass rat. Yes Johnny drink the brew. You got this bro. 
I believe in you Johnny. Unlike your parents in real life. I believe. Remember boys. If nobody else cares, then 25 buttholes will care. You got this Johnny boy, you got this. All you have to do is hit him twice. That's it. I believe in you brother. The whole world is behind you in this moment. But as Green Pants Johnny went back into Elvag's lair, he actually started to staff bash Elvag. Oh crap, boys, he isn't smart enough to realize that the Saradomin brew lowered his magic and took off his auto cast. You need to reset your spell Johnny boy, you need to reset your spell. And get some distance on Elvag so he doesn't kick you to death. You got this bro. But just as Johnny Boy was about to clap Elvag, he ran out of his lair, and started to beg for more food. I don't have any more food Johnny, now get back in there and clap him before you get smoked by these skeletons. The job is nearly complete. But instead of doing that, Johnny Boy started to panic as he got attacked by the skeletons. Once again Johnny Boy was running around like a frantic idiot. But this time, it would be his last. As he got viciously smoked by one of the skeletons. Hitting the floor like a complete, and utter, failure. Ha 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 wow. Better luck next time Johnny. At least I can say I tried. Rest in peace little Johnny the third. You will always be remembered as the guy who almost did it. Wow. I then went in and easily clapped Elvag in one slap and finished my quest with the quickness. That's what I'm talking about boys. We are the best of the best. The people's champ. The boss of all bosses. Even though, we have never claimed any of those titles ourselves. It's just known boys, it's just known. As I was patrolling the wilderness on my Zerka account, I happened to run into a nearly maxed main who was catching black chins behind a din's bulwark. These high level goblins think just because they have 90 defense and a din's bulwark that nobody is even going to try and clap them. But that's where you are wrong bud. Just like lightning, I began zapping this cowboy back and forth. My switches were so immaculate that he couldn't even keep up with my clicks. As I slapped this PVM rat around like a rag doll, he began to take off for the hills. But my entangle was wrapping up his pencil legs like a pretzel. Jeez Louise boys is this clown serious? Look at him switching to his magic short bow as if he's actually going to try and anti-PK me. Buddy you have been watching too many videos pal. And if you keep trying to anti me, you're going to end up in the Varrock sewers. At this point I couldn't tell if this PVM rat was just pretending to be terrible at PKing, or if he was actually this dog water. But it quickly became clear that this is one of those gingivitis cowboys who never, and I mean never, does PVP. If this goblin was smart, he would just tank me out with his din's bulwark. But instead he's going to try to pretend like he's Spark Mac or something. Listen bud. You are not Spark Mac. And this is not a YouTube video. Not only did this rat get smoked, but he also got smited. Which is honestly, just embarrassing, and could have easily been avoided. Now let's go check out his bank key. 311k? Along with 2000 rune arrows? Not too bad for a PVM chat. Next time I suggest just running away little Billy. When it comes to anti-PKing. You're just not that guy. Wow. <laughs> now boys I would like to direct your attention to the free for all clan portal on world 308. Just the other day I went to do some free to play PKing. But not to my surprise, the wilderness was completely empty. But then I randomly decided to run into this portal, where I saw a bunch of goblin boys running deep into the map. At first I wasn't quite sure what was going on. But I soon realized everyone was running to the multi-zone to engage in combat. And even though you may not be able to park anyone for their items, it was honestly pretty awesome. 
just a good old free to play war. If you or any of your buddies are missing out on that old PKing nostalgia, this is as close as you are going to get, and it was honestly pretty fun. I encourage everyone to start going to the white portal on world 308, and make this place packed with players. It's a good time boys it's a good time. Maybe in the future, I will host some live stream events here. It's honestly just sad how pathetic the developers are over at Jamflex. Old school RuneScape is without a doubt one of the best games in the world. And the PvP has the potential to be so much fun. But Jigglyflex chooses not to focus on it. Wake up you British mucks. Make some more PvP minigames and be creative for once in your life. I'm sick of the excuses. Make PvP great again. Make it great. Actually. Build it back better. <laughs> now boys if you haven't already, please consider hitting the join button, and becoming a channel member for $1.99. It truly helps me out a lot. And also make sure you hit that like button, and maybe even leave a comment of a cigarette emoji. As of right now we are patiently waiting for the release of the new PvP arena at the Duel Arena. So hopefully Jamflex does the PvP community good, and doesn't release a total flop. But you boys know Jamflex. So we can't get too excited. But we can hope for the best. Oh and for those free to play players who scammed earlier on in the video, I don't even blame them boys. They are just a product of their environment. And if you ever come across someone who is begging for money in real life. 25 UA Goblin. Give it to them boys. It's good to give back. Even if you know they are going to spend it on crack. Still give back boys and help out your local community. I know these videos have a bunch of satire garbage comedy, but it's just business boys. In the real world I love you all, and I pray that your family is well and safe. God bless my brothers and sisters, and thank you for everything you have done for my family. God bless boys. God bless.